G'day guys and welcome to this episode of Ranger Touring. We're still here on Morton Island, but uh, for this video we're going to be heading north and doing all the things on the northern side of the island, being that some of the bushwalks and also the Cape Morton the Lighthouse. It is another pretty dreary day, we had another storm last night, so hopefully the weather uh, turns it on for us a bit later in the day. Um, but if not, that's alright, we'll still make the most of it. Benefit is, at least it makes it seem nice and hard. Should be a good episode, tune in. First stop this morning is the Cape Morton uh, Lighthouse. It's up the uh, northern end of the island, um, and you can see the walking track up to the top. Oh wow! Look at the boat. Three hours up the top here with the uh, lighthouse keepers, and then there's also the uh, Morton um, lighthouse as well. That's the main structure, which is still the original stone structure. It's got a bit more advanced though. Come down to the beach on the north side of the island now, go out and do the honeymoon bay walk. Bay. We're just at the bottom now, and uh, it's beautiful. There's some rocks here, so it's not really much of a swimming beach, but um, you can definitely just relax on the beach and watch the waves come in. And it's because of the headland and everything like that, you're quite protected, so there's not really any wind at the moment, unless you're getting a real strong sort of northeasterly uh, breeze. So yeah, really, really like this place. It's quite nice. Shame we can't stay for a bit longer. We've got to keep moving to beat the tides, but um, yeah, we'll definitely recommend this spot. If you follow it a little bit further around from Honeymoon Bay, you can um, head to the North Point, which is obviously, as it would suggest, the most northern point. And then finally down the bottom is the uh, Champagne Pool. So you can do sort of three things along the one walking track. Um, they're just tucked away on the northeast side of the island. It's not high tide yet, so they're not smashing over as much as they could be. beach um, at North Point now we're sort of heading on the full and North Point track um, which will take us uh, to some lookouts and then it'll also take us all the other side all, all the way over to the other side of the island 
on the western side and uh, the area of Bulla, which has some wrecks, has some snorkeling areas, but also just being the western side, a bit more calmer waters. Just pulled up at uh, Five Hills Lookout. We're just gonna do the short walk up to the top. Well, I hope it's short, because I didn't bring any shoes. And then, uh, yeah, go check that out and then head over to Bulla. coming back out onto the beach and uh, there's some pretty serious uh, water crossings. Uh, they're all fresh. I've walked them and tested the water but um, I think this one here is uh, going to see the cargo pretty uh, pretty underwater. Oh yeah, definitely. That's a big lean. It's absolutely beautiful. I'd say that this would be the pick of the lot for uh, where you'd want to go fishing. Um, it's a bit hot at the moment though. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to head to Bulwar and um, apparently you can get a real coffee there. So I'm pretty, pretty keen on that. And then we're going to relax on the western side of the island for the afternoon. Probably throw a line in, but um, when it comes to us, we can always come back here. Check the diff lock in, second gear, get ready to lean over. Not too fast. We've finished up the uh, afternoon here on the uh, west coast of the island, sort of northwest. It's a pretty flat beach, it's pretty calm, very well, very calm waters. It's beautiful if you wanted to just sit and drink or whatever, but I mean, there's been a few people who have launched some jet skis and boats up here because it's just flat as anything and there's quite solid sand heading down to the water. I've been fishing for the last probably two hours and I've caught absolutely zero, um, whereas on the east coast I was able to in two fish and if I can catch two fish well then you know the fishing's easy. From here we're going to head up um, to one of the campsites on the northwest side of the island. We've got some mates who are staying there at the moment. We want to just chill out with them for a bit and then we're going to head back over to our uh, camp over at a uh, Blue Lagoon which um, yeah it's pretty pretty nice spot as well but maybe next time west coast I think. We've pretty much done everything that there is to do on the island. We've gone north, we've gone south, and we've done sort of the east and west coast. We've done the whole whole island, pretty much literally driven around the perimeter of it. Um, so for today, I think we're gonna go back to a few locations that we've been to already. We're gonna go back over to the western side of the island. Again, I'm really craving that um, proper coffee. I didn't bring um, the greatest coffee with us. 
So I think we're gonna head over uh, to Bulwer again um, and then chill out on the, that side. It's been really good, I really enjoyed Morn. Um, I'll probably summarize it at the end by saying how long I reckon, but uh, so far I'm thinking three days, three full days on the island and you've, you've done everything. the day today on uh, the western side of the island uh, chilling out just off one of the main beaches and um, you know sitting in the water it was a nice 30 degree day sun's up uh, so either sitting under the awning or sitting in the water having a beer and having some lunch and um, some uh, cheese and biscuits which is um, always a nice way to spend the afternoon but we're heading off the island uh, tomorrow um, our ferry's not until 12 15 so we're gonna head um, over to the my cat uh, area which is around where the main wrecks are and we might go for some uh, for some more snorkeling we'll, we'll see how we go but um, you know having uh, now stayed on the island I think the western side is uh, definitely the better side the eastern side is great but you're not really directly on the beach and even if you are um, you're just copping the, the, the breeze the whole time like strong winds and um, you get all the poor weather uh, whereas on the western side you've got the beautiful still waters better for swimming unless you're into your surf um, Whereas otherwise, not worth it. So definitely next time, Western Side. up camp uh, right on about the low tide mark and we're heading uh, back over to the western side of the island to the Tangaluma Rex uh, where we're going to catch the ferry over at 12.15. Uh, um, we've got a few hours before then so we'll probably just cook up some break here on the beach and just relax for the morning. So guys, that ends our trip on Morton Island. It's been a hell of a week, uh, five days on the island. Probably looking back on it, probably wouldn't have gone for five days. I reckon Morton Island is a is a location you could do in probably a long weekend, um, or probably four days max. But the good part about it is you escape all the crowds that would normally be at Fraser Island. It's a much quieter island for sure, um, and, it's, and it's got some good tracks and good things to see. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks for tuning in to Ranger Touring.